Hi guys, welcome to Code Decode. So in the previous video, we have covered what is event binding in Angular. But we haven't covered how to create the custom events in Angular. So consider, an, uh, consider a case like in the previous video, we have seen on the event and key up event of the input HTML element in Angular. But we, ha we haven't seen anything uh, like how to create my own custom event. Say consider a case. Here you can see that in this app component.html we have app admin uh, the, the, the tag right this is actually the selector. So this is what we are doing we are embedding the parents uh, we are embedding the child in the parent. So app admin is nothing but a child for app component.html which is actually nothing but a parent. So whatever you write here like I have written here I have embedded this in the parent so I can see it here right I have embedded this custom component in parent. So this is how parent and child relationship works but now I want that uh, the child should know uh, that the parent has sent something to the child or the parent should know that child is trying to say something to it. So how do you actually make these parent child relationship works in angular. So the answer for this question is that we can use event emitters for making the parent know that child has something to tell or at the rate input decorator or at the rate output decorators for communication between uh, for communication between the child and company uh, child and parent components. So consider this as an example. So this is my parent okay like here my parent is app component dot ts because app component.html has this selector which is nothing but a child component so there is a child there is a parent so how does these actually interact so at the rate input and at the rate output are the two decorators which are being provided by angular to us to make this relationship work so at the rate input and output allows us uh, these decorators allows us to share the data between child and context and uh, parent context or the components where the at the rate input is a writable property and at the rate output is observable. So let me explain that to you. Consider at the rate input and output are doorways. So whenever you decorate a variable with at the rate input or the at the rate output it makes those variable a door. This is a door right so nothing from here can go directly to child or nothing from the child can go directly to the parent what you need is at the rate input and at the rate output to make these uh, relationship work so whenever you mark any of the variable as at the rate output or input this door is being created here so whenever you write at the rate input this doorway makes the data from the parent to get into the child component or the data flow from parent to child and at the rate output this variable makes the data out from the child into the component. So at the rate input and output are basically both are independent decorators but you can use them uh, like together also or independently also. So if you use it separately what will happen if you use only at the rate input then only the data from parent can get into the child and child cannot tell the parent that I have something to tell you. Similarly, the reverse is true. If you use only at the rate output for a variable uh, which, which is being used as an event emitter in Angular, then only the child will be able to tell parent that I have something to tell you. Please listen. You won't be able to get any data from parents. So that is how they can be used together also. They can be used separately too. So I'll give you an example in a moment for both of the scenarios. So first we will look into at the rate input thing. So let me first create a child for you just for help purpose. I'll cd into src. I'll cd into app. And I will now in this app I will create ng generate component child. So what will this command do? It will generate a child in for us. So like how admin we have right. If this particular command is successful, we will be able to generate a child. Currently, this is working for me. And it says currently that it is successful. So, can are you able to see these four things? The CSS file, that HTML file, this is the test file and this is the component.ts which automatically has app child selector in it. 
so this is the child okay now i'll close this because my child is being created right now what i will do i'll, I'll tell you how at the rate input and how at the rate output works so let me first tell you how at the rate input works so input says from parent to child so in child let me create just a second i have some code snippet it will help me create things easily for you so that we don't waste our time in coding part so in html suppose it says child work right i'll, re I'll remove this i'll say today's item is an item now this is interpolation i have already discussed in the previous videos to you and this item is nothing but a variable in component.ts as i've discussed earlier so here i have to create that variable right so i'll create that variable but there is one interesting thing while creating this variable this variable has to be marked with at the rate input selector and i'll take that from angular core directory so when i save this there uh, there is something called as today's item with interpolated item as item this item is nothing but a string type which is going to be received from the parent not the child so here you see constructor is empty ng on init is empty there is nothing here but there is something called as at the rate input decorator which says that this child component is going to get this item from the parent now to make this ch child parent relationship work what i have to do is to take the selector from here and i have to add the selector in parent so that i have to make this as a parent and that as a child so let me do one thing i, I have to remove app admin i'll put app child here okay so if i do this what i what i am actually doing here i'm making a child parent relationship where app component is my parent and app that slash child is my child now this is how i have created the child parent relationship and my child has this item and now this item is actually waiting as an input from to get the item from the parent so what my next thing will be i have to create this item in the parent so i say this as say my current item is television okay but now i have to send this uh, i have to map this current item to my child so this is my child now i have to tell him that whatever property named as item you have is actually mapped with my property named as current item as current item so this is my current item and whatever my current item has in its value i have to send control c and in its html file i will do control v okay it's not taking i'll write it current item current item correct so what i'm doing here is i'm i'm do this is something i've already told you right this is event bind uh, the property binding thing the property binding is nothing but i'm telling that the app child has a variable named as item right when you see it here this is this is an item i'm saying that this app child's item value must be evaluated from this current item and this current item is nothing but a property in the parent so whatever i type here will go as a value in this item and when it goes in this item it will automatically from there gets interpolated into this html file so i'll save everything here i'll save everything and i will see whether my things are compiled yes it is compiled successfully so let me see today's item is television so today's item was the parent thing right and this was an interpolation do you remember today's item and an interpolation so this item was actually nothing but an input variable which i have not initialized in parent uh, in the child but i'm waiting for my parent to give the value for that so if i write tv here and i save it and i'll go and check my output it says tv so this data is coming from the parent in this child 
so this is how at the rate input works now let me make you understand how at the rate output works and similarly with the same time you will understand how do i create a custom event for my own class so coming back to my diagram what at the rate output says at the rate output says that whatever if any of the instead incident happens in the child my parent should know about it so how does my parent know about anything that if child wants the parent to know i'll use the event emitter for the same and i have the code snippet for that also for you so consider an consider an input box in my child so this is my child right so i have an input box now i have discussed each and everything with you like what is this temp variable uh, how do we assign the complete input box which is an html element into this simple temporary variable and how do i pass the value which is being written as a text in this input box to an uh, to a method named as add new element so this is something i have already explained in my previous video so by this time i i know that you understand how it actually works so this is an event binding this event the click event is actually a event of button element button html element and on click of this particular button which is add to parents list this particular method is called with a value which is nothing but uh, this temporary vari variable of input box so whatever i put in this input box comes as a value in this methods argument so when i save this file this expects this particular method in component.ts file so let's me let me go into this component ts file and i have to create this method so this is my method and it says i have to emit something so this is very important thing here i'm copying it from this part to this place and i say that okay now this has to be done above it where i've done it the rate input so again i have to import it it's giving me the import issue i believe yes it is and again even to meter i have to import it uh so it has taken this event emitter from this angular core package itself so all my issues are fixed and now it says that new item event which i have taken here the the, the click button right so this click button this has a new even a new item event dot emit so the very first thing we have to understand here is to let the parent know that child has something to say you have to make a door and that door named as new item event is created with at the rate output variable which is nothing but an event emitter in angular so whenever that button is clicked whenever i have something in this and that that value is present and whenever i click this button this click event calls this method so whenever it calls it's this method emits some something like it it says knock knock please listen to me parent i have some value for you and that value is being sent to the parent so now let, let me go into the parent and let me write something that this is an event so i have to capture this event right so i have this code also written for you i have this event being catched this this is a child right so this child has an event this event is actually when whenever this event is called this add item method will be called with whatever attribute this method sends as a payload to this parent so i have to add this add item in my component.ts file so this is my component.ts file i want an add method here so this is my add method now i have my add method right now it needs some items so uh, initially i'll create these items for myself these items are nothing but some initialized values item 1 item 2 item 3 item 4 now i want that whenever you receive something just show it as a list right so how would i know that something is being received so for that i need something 
which says that yes now my parent has everything out of it so what i have to do is in this ui li i'll do nothing i'll, I'll do control shift uncomment and i will say let item of items and then i will interpolate my item here okay okay so what i'm doing here is iterating over my items what are my items items is this variable this is being creating a temporary variable for this list and then i'm trying to print that i've discussed all of this in the previous video so let me save everything if you still have any doubt please let me know in the comment section i'll repeat all what i have taught yet till yet so this is how it's working and now i say that this is item one item two item three item four because already my items array has these four elements so that is why i'm able to see item one item two item three item four here but now whatever i type here and click this button add to parents list so this is something a code written in child so the whenever this uh, when i whenever i want my parent which is having this item list to know that my child has something new to be added i will create this parent child relationship so whatever i write here and when as soon as i click this button whatever i write here becomes the payload of this event so this is my parent whatever i put in this input box the value will become the payload which is being emitted with this method into the parent so this is how it captures it this is how it capture it sends that payload to this method add item so i'll search add item and whenever this new item comes it push into this array so whatever i push into this array is actually nothing but visible here so i hope i'm clear how the flow goes the flow is this html my child html has an input box it has some item whenever uh, it has some button the button has uh, has a call to a method this method calling whenever on click is uh, has called has called this method which is an emit emit method does nothing but creates an event emitter event custom event which custom event is to be synchronized with this particular uh, app child selector and a method is called with that payload when the method is called it uh, it performs some action and that action is nothing but a push to this particular items array so let me make this clear to you i say my new item and when i click this my new item will be sent as a payload as to the event emitter to the parent and the parent has this new list so whenever something is written in this box and this particular thing is clicked in the child the child sends the complete thing whatever right here as a payload to the list and the list gets it added into the main list so that was all about how how i create a custom event so what you see here this emit you see it here emit this is nothing but a custom event so the, the, that that is no hoax about how to create a custom event binding this is how you create a custom event binding so this is a this is an sim syntax similar to you i used to do this when we have button click so this was event right this was inbuilt event the click event of button but this is my event this is my custom event which is which which is which is the one i have created how i have created new item event i have done nothing but i have added this new item event as at the rate output which creates the custom event for me in angular so it, i'm not uh, i'm not stuck to just inbuilt uh, events i can create my own event and tell my parent that i have something to tell you so this was all about the custom events and the uh, at the rate input and at the rate output things if you still have any issues with this particular thing please let me know in the comment section